The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. In the next proceeding, we're going to hear the statement being read out by Mr. Dutch Parry, the greffier of the trial chamber. The statement of Nye Paul, document with ERN 0016261. The Office of Co-Investigating Judges, Criminal Case File, number 001 of July 2007. Investigation number 001-18 of July 9, uh, 2007. The year 2007, the month of October, the 19th day, at 9.15 hours in the morning at the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, we, Nguyen Im, Christian Bodison, investigators of the extraordinary chambers, having been assigned by rogatory letter of the co investigating judges, dated the 5th of October 2007, noting the law on the establishment of the extraordinary chambers dated the 27th of October 2004. Noting Rules 24, 28, and 60 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers in the, in the presence of Mr. Tan Hien Davan, sworn interpreter of the Extraordinary Chambers, have recorded the statement of Nye Ho, a witness who provided the following information regarding his personal identity. First name, Ho. Revolutionary name, Nye Sovan. Born in 1953 in the village of Sampan Kraum. This person declared that he could read, write, and understand the Khmer language. This person declared that he could not read and write any other languages. Therefore, the original of this written record is written in the Khmer language. We advise this person that the taking of this statement is being audio or video recorded. This person told us that he had no relationship with the charged persons and civil parties. This person took an oath in accordance with the provisions of Rule 24 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. We notified this person of the right against self-incrimination in accordance with the provisions of Rule 28 of the Internal Rules of the Extraordinary Chambers. Question and answer. Question. I want you to briefly describe your history prior to 1970. Response. Prior to 1970, I studied at the Sampan Kraum School. And uh, when I reached class 8, Seeing my parents in difficulty, I stopped my studies. I then helped my parents with work until 1970. Question. And after the coup, what did you do? Response. Then we were united into groups within a farming cooperative. Question, what did you do after that? Response, I worked until 74 
In 1974, they forced me into Pol Pot's revolution. The sub-district militia chased and surrounded me. I had uh, fled to the East Bank. Later, they arrested me and put me in prison at Bretau. How many years did they imprison you? Response. They imprisoned me for five months. Then my younger sibling, who was one of the Nath soldiers, came to liberate me from prison and took me to pray Swai village, Kandal Stung. Question. Your brother, your younger brother had joined the army before you. Response. Yes. Question. What is your younger brother's name? Response. Question. After you went with Nye Peng, what unit uh, were you in? Response. At first, I was in the economics unit. Battalion 112, Regiment 73, Division 12. Question. Please continue. Response. In the Pol Pot era, I worked in the 112th in the economics unit. Question. Did you ever transfer to a different unit? Response. No. I was only in economics in the 112th. Question. In what year did you come to serve at S21? Response. March 1977. Warren was the one who took me to work at S21. Question. Who was Warren? Response. He was the chairman of an economics unit of the 50. Question. Vaughan was chairman of economics uh, of the 50. Where? Response. Vaughan was chairman of the economics de unit de of 50 in the Réponse, battalion 112. Uh, oh, Question. When they called you to S21, did they tell you they were taught? They're taking you to the, uh, that place? Response. Before Vaughan took me, I asked Vaughan, Comrade, where are you taking me? Vaughan said, why do you want to know? When you get there, you will surely know. Vaughan took me behind him on his bicycle. I kept on asking him along the way, are we nearly there? Warren said we were almost there, and it was then that Warren brought me to S21. The guard spat and said, come here, comrade, you are in prison again. Question, who said that? Response, a guard guarding S21. Question, did you know each other, and so was that that's why he said that. Response, I did not know him before. Question, so you waited for one outside. Response, I waited outside. Question, continue please. Response, later one came out and said, Comrade, you can go inside now because I have spoken with Comrade Hall. So I went inside. Question. At first, what tasks did they assign you to do? Response. I was a guard for prisoners. Question. Guarding inside or outside? Response. Guarding inside in the upper building. Question. The inside guards. How many teams were they divided into? Response. Ten teams. Question. Question. And uh, which building was your team in charge of guarding? Response. 
We relieved each other. Five teams gathered from 6 to 11, and another five teams continued in the afternoon. Question. Where was your team responsible for guarding, regardless of the timing? Response. The north building on the right-hand side, building C. Question. Each team was responsible for one building. Response. They divided up le ten teams, five teams at a time, à la fois, relieved by five other teams. Par cinq we relieved each other as we went along. Un Question. Question. Explain the task of guarding. What did you do? Response. The guards took réponse. care of the prisoners, defended carried the food and brought out the excrement. Question. Regarding the instructions given to the guards relating to prisoners, what instructions were given? Response. Upper echelon instructed not to talk loudly to the prisoners, to talk quietly and not to beat the prisoners. And upper echelon instructed Et that when the time came to carry the gruel, the rice, de for the prisoners to eat. Question. If the prisoners wanted Question. to go out to relieve themselves, who was responsible for that? Qui, uh, Response. Réponse. It was not permitted non, when we guarded the first floor of that building. They had a device prepared for the prisoners to relieve themselves right there. Question. Please explain clearly how the prisoners relieved themselves. What did you have them do to relieve themselves? Response. An ammunition case was kept for the prisoners to relieve themselves. Question. So for the prisoners who were shackled, how could they de relieve themselves? Please explain. Response. The prisoners relieved themselves. They were not in shackles there. They used an ammunition case for the prisoners to defecate in. And after they had relieved themselves, we, the guards, shut the ammunition case and carried it out. Question. Question. You say the prisoners Vous were not shackled. The prisoners had the right to walk freely. Response. Réponse. In the place where I got it, upstairs Alors, there, the prisoners were not handcuffed. Question. You only got it at the upper floors there. Response. I got it the whole upper floor. The ground and second floors that was the work of others. Question. Question. On the upper floor, where the prisoners in large cells or small ones were there, the prisoners in large cells or small ones, correction, response, on the upper floor, there were large cells, question, none of those prisoners were kept in shackles, response, there were none, just on the ground floor and first floor. Those prisoners upstairs had Ceux already been interrogated haut, before being placed on the upper floor. Let me explain. There was the ground, first floor, the second floor, le and le I was étage, on the third floor. Étage, moi, Question. Question. So, the Donc, prisoners who had not yet been interrogated were put on the ground floor. Response. Place on the Réponse. first floor, next to the ground floor. Au premier étage. 
Question. Please explain. The prisoner cells which you guarded were they for men, women, and children mixed together or what? Response. The cells I guarded, there was a cell for women and children and other cells for the men. That place was for prisoners who had been interrogated. That place had three large cells. Question. Question. Tell me about the cell for women and children. Were there many children? Response. The cell for the mothers and children held about seven children and aside from them some women and some elderly people. Question. Question. Do you know where they took those mothers and children to later on? Response. The mothers and children later on, Hoy's team came and took them. At Seven o'clock, they brought a vehicle to take them. They did not take them all. They took prisoners from other cells too. Question. Seven at night or in the morning? Response. Seven at night. Hoy's team came to take them. Question. As far as you know, where did they take them? Response. That was their law. They said Hoi had come to get them. They came up to get them. Hoi's team. We could not ask anything. Whenever we asked anything, they said we were enemies of the revolution. Question. When Hoi's team came to take the prisoners, how did they make contact with the guards? Response. Réponse. Hoi entered Hoi the compound. I could see that from upstairs. They mostly contacted Ho and T, the one who kept the list. There was only Ho below Doj. Question. You were a guard. So the cell keys were all with you. Response. I was a guard. There were three of us on the upper floor. The keys, whenever I carried the gruel, I gave them to the other two guards. We took turns. Question. So your instructions depended on the team coming to take the prisoners. You just had the order to unlock and lock them up. Response, just to unlock and lock Réponse, them up. Question, in your Question. duties as a prisoner guard, what was the condition of the prisoners you observed? Response, Réponse. The prisoners I guarded on the Moi, upper floor were in weak state from torture and beating, and I saw that. Ça, je vu. One prisoner called out, brother, put ointment on my back a little for me. It hurts very badly. I called a medic to clean the wounds. Question. Were there other instances you saw? Response. When I was guarding there, not much happened. I saw that uh, when they had finished interrogating them, they kept them at that place. But there were many skinny prisoners because the torture was severe. Question. How could you Question. recognize the prisoners who had been severely tortured? Response. Réponse. 
They brought the prisoners upstairs. They had finished interrogating them. The prisoners never told me. Some prisoners told me, Brother, they beat me hard. But I did not dare say anything because I was afraid that if they came to interrogate them again, they would implicate me. Question. Explain. On the upper floor, there was a cell for women and children. Did you ever see them kill children in that cell? Response. If I talk about the moments when I was guarding, that did not happen. If Hoy's group had done that, there would have been a reaction from the prisoners. Question. Explain further. In the place where you were on guard, was there ever crying and screaming? Response. There was wailing. It's not like there was none, but when I heard the wailing, I called a medic because I was afraid that if a prisoner died, they would accuse me of being an enemy. Question. Did you ever see a prisoner dying there? Response. Yes, I did. An interrogator came to take a prisoner from the upper floor, and then the interrogator released the hands of that prisoner. That prisoner jumped from the building and died. I saw that with my own eyes. Question. Did you take prisoners from the detention site to interrogation, or was that another team? Response. I just locked and Moi, unlocked, qui, uh, and that interrogator uh, recognized uh, him and took uh, that prisoner right away. Qui, uh, and when they were leaving, when that interrogator uh, had just uh, released uh, his uh, hand a little, that prisoner then jumped the from the building. Question. Question. So the interrogators Question. came to get the Donc, prisoners themselves. Can you remember the names of those interrogators who came to get prisoners? I cannot remember the names because I did not dare ask. Those who came to get them were all Dutch people. Question. Question. Regarding Dutch, did you see Dutch come to the detention site often? Response. When I was on guard, Dutch came often, but only to meet with Hor. He did not come to the building. Question. You said that Dutch came to inspect the prison and only met with Hor. And Hor was your superior. In your opinion, who then was Deutsch? Response. When I was at S21, there was only Deutsch and Hall. Deutsch was the big chairman, and Hall was the deputy. And Hui at Prey Saw was member. The tall and dark Hui. Question. Question. You say that you knew Dutch, Ho, and Hui. Aside from them, whom else did you know? Like the chairman of the outside guard. Response. Inside S21 there, I cannot remember all the names, but I knew some inside like Boj, in an S21 company, Thai, the head of an S21 company, chef de compagnie, Po, head of an S21 company, chef de compagnie, and the heads of units of 50, Sri, Ng, and Sri. I forget the names of Sri are the heads of battalion. There were six in total. Those outside were 
Hoy, Man, Srim, those who were, those who made the arrests and took them in and out were all in their team. Their team was at the sewer ditch to the west. I did not know the interrogators well. Question, among those names, aside from Hoi, are any still alive? Response, all of those I named are dead, aside from Hoi. Question, did you have any siblings working at S21? Response, at S21 prison, my younger brother worked there too. His name was Peng. Question, what did Peng do? Response, when Hui had arrested everyone, my brother rose to company leader with T. Question, is Peng still alive? Response, dead. Peng died at Pailin. He was with Deutsch. Someone came and told me he had died during the war after 79. Question, in what year did he die? Response, I don't remember the year. Question, do you know Chan? Response, Chan, Chan probably. If he was an interrogator, I know him. Question. Question. When you were working there, did you ever participate in meetings or political study sessions led by Deutsch? Response. When I was at S21, I studied. I went to them because they changed the times for the guard shifts. Deutsch called the guards to their school near Deutsch's house, and Deutsch gave instructions on what guards were to do to closely guard and what anyone who let a prisoner escape would die. Deutsch said that we had to firmly believe in the revolution and not get reckless in guarding. Deutsch pointed as he spoke. He said a lot, but I cannot remember it all. Question, how many times did you go study? Response, when I was at S21, I went to study just once at the school near Deutsch's house. Question, did you ever participate in meetings with anyone other than Deutsch? Response, at S21, I never did with senior people, just with Hoi and his group. They are the only ones I knew and with the company and unit of 50 leaders who died. Question. Question. Please explain a little regarding the names you just spoke of, those who had all been arrested. Did you ever get any of them? Response. The group who he arrested was never placed in the north building. They put them in the south building. Beginning with the head of the S21 youth group, they were never placed in the north. They were all put in the south building. Question. Who supervised the south building? Response. I do not know their names because all of the guards, including me, whatever building they guarded, that was the building we knew. That was the law. Question. The people supervising inside your fellow guards, they could not contact each other? Response. Deutsch did not permit contact between any of the guards. 
because the guards who remained were all from Tanat's network. So they restricted them and did not allow contact. If there was contact, that person making contact was an enemy. If they checked and learned about it, they would put you in prison. Question. Those who worked at S21, many of them were killed. What were the reasons for those killings? Was it because of Tanat or what? Response. Inside S21, the people in the company were all from Tanat's network, and Deutsch brought in his forces in addition. So Deutsch prohibited contact with Tanat's network. Question. Question. Please explain more. Regarding the arrest of the company cadres at S21, what arrest methods did you notice? Response. I did not know if they were arrested or not. I was only guarding upstairs. I stood and watched the people in the company. The team chairman, as they were called at his place at the sewer ditch, and they were arrested when they came back blindfolded. I just knew they had been arrested. Question. Question. Which hoi? hoi? Response. Réponse. You hoi. You hoi. Alice hum hoi. The hum hoi. Question. Question. Who gave the orders for them to go meet hoi? hoi. Response. Réponse. I don't know who made the decisions. Question. Question. Uh, among all the prisoners at S21, did you ever see any foreign prisoners? Response. Réponse. There were none at my place. In other places, I suspect there were. Bâtiments. They were in different buildings. Question. Regarding feeding prisoners, how many times did they eat each day? And what food was there each time? Response. At the site I was guarding, there were three loads of soda pole carried rice in large buckets and one load of soda pole carried soup. I put a food bucket in each cell and let the prisoners scoop it out themselves. And the leftovers I put outside the cell. If there was any shortage, I added more afterwards. Each day, I prepared food for the prisoners twice, at noon and in the afternoon. Question. Question. For how many prisoners? Response. The site I guarded had about 80. Question. Regarding the distribution of food, did the prisoners have their own dishes or was it one common dish? Response. There were dishes for each prisoner, but I prepared three dishes of soup for 20 prisoners. Question. Did you think that was sufficient? Response. Sometimes it was not enough. As far as rice is concerned, it was little, but not very little. But the drain soup was very little. Question. In general, the food was not Question. sufficient for the prisoners. Response. I said sometimes enough, sometimes not, because that was all they got as food rations. Question. As for the prisoners in place other than yours, was the food ration the same? Response. The same food ration in general, because the cooks ladled out the same food for everyone. 
faisait la même nourriture pour tout le monde. Interrupted the hearing of the statement at 11:50 hours in the morning of the same day. Continued the hearing of the statement at 1:20 hours in the afternoon of the same day. Le même jour. Question. Question. Regarding the food ration for the combatants at S21, how was it? Response. The food ration of the S21 combatants was prepared by the economics team. Ten persons at each table. Question. How many times a day and was it sufficient? Response. Food for the defense was too little sometimes. Sometimes it was enough. That depended upon the S21 economics team. Question. Sufficient. How many times? Response. Two times. The same at noon and in the afternoon. Question. How did you eat? Could you take more on your own? Response. There was just one pot. Question. How many items of food? Response. One. Sometimes two. Question. Question. When compared so with the food of the prisoners, prisoniers, which you explained this morning, how was matin, it different? Different? Response. Response. Food for prisoners and for guards uh, was only a little different. The rice for the guards sometimes enfin, was not filling, but with one dish of drained Mais soup it was. En mangeant plus de soupe. Question. You said most of the Question. prisoners were skinny because of not eating enough. Parce ne pas assez. Response. Réponse. The prisoners did not Et get enough to eat assez. and had been tortured plus, too. On les so they were skinny. Si, uh, Question. Question. But the people who worked at S21 S21 were not as skinny as the prisoners. Response, the people at S21 were not very skinny because no one had tortured them. Question, so you noted that the prisoners had been tortured or what? Response, I noticed that 100% of the prisoners had been tortured. Question, can you explain what torture was inflicted on the prisoners? Response. I did not know about the torture because we were far apart. But I just said that when I got it in the prison, when prisoners returned, they had whip marks. Question. The living conditions of the prisoners as you saw them, did the prisoners have enough clothing? Response. The prisoners I guarded sometimes had enough, sometimes not. Question. How would you note that prisoners did not have enough clothing? Response. Prisoners were short of clothing because their shirts had been torn during torture, and the prisoners had no change of clothing. Question. In summary, you saw that some prisoners had no shirts? Response. Yes. I observed in guarding that they had been tortured until their shirts were torn, sometimes to the point the shirt had to be thrown away. Question. 
Did you ever see medics treat prisoners right there where you were working? Response. There were two medics in the prison where I was. Question. Hygiene for prisoners. Washing. How was that done? Response. For those of us guarding the prisoners, there was a pump below a hose above un, un to wash the prisoners. Bas, they had proper soap. Pour laver les prisonniers, il y avait aussi du vrai savon. Question. Question. Please tell us clearly about washing prisoners. Plus précisément comment les prisonniers se Response. Réponse. I had the prisoners Je in the cells was one at a time un un, dans la and there was a bag of soap. After they washed, I took it to prisoners in another cell to wash. Question. Question. You host the prisoners down or let them washed by themselves? Les prisonniers se Response. Est -ce que I let them wash one at a seul. time. And when they finished, I removed the hose for the other cells. Question. So it was a sleeping place and a washing place too? Response. They slept there and they washed there. When they washed and dried themselves off, they rested. Question. How many times was each prisoner washed each week? Response. Prisoners were washed twice a day, noon and afternoon. Question. Prisoners in buildings are there than yours. Were they washed in the same way? Response. In general, washing in the other buildings was the same. Because the law was to wash the prisoners twice at every site. Question. When did you leave S21? Response. I left S21 when Phnom Penh fell. We all fled together. We ran along the back of the prison and met at Prisor. And we all fled to Om Lam, Kampung Spu. Question. Please explain. When you ran away, the prisoners you were guarding, how were they arranged? Response. The prisoners I was guarding, who is group, one Les unit of 50, had them taken away in truckloads. I don't know where they took them. Question. Question. For how many days were Combien they transported de until they were all gone? Response. Réponse. After about 10 days, the prisoners were all gone. Question. So, when the defense units fled, the S21 prisoners were already gone? Response. They were all gone before the defense unit fled from the prison through the kitchens. Question. Did you flee along with your younger brother? Response. No. I fled with the defense unit, not with my younger brother. Question. Question. Did you meet Dutch when you fled? Que vous avez vu Duke? Response. Réponse. No. no. There were many fleeing. Monde qui sont I never fled with Dutch. Moi, je suis pas parti avec I Dutch. ran je with suis the parti defense avec unit. De We all fled to Prestor. Question. Question. This is a photo Voici of prisoners photo who died right there at S21. Night of the Khmer Rouge, page 104. Did you know about the prisoners who died at Ruslan? Response. Vous étiez au courant it was the guards in the South building, Réponse. building A, Là, who des killed des prisoners qui, uh, before they fled. 
et qui ont tué les prisonniers avant de prendre la fuite eux-mêmes. But not in your building. Question, mais ce n'est pas dans le bâtiment où vous étiez Response, de garde no. Réponse, non. Question. In this photo, Sur ce a photo, prisoner had shot himself. On voit un prisonnier qui euh, Knight of the Khmer Rouge, page 102, by stealing a gun to shoot himself. Of the Rouge, page 102. Response. Ce avec un fusil qu'il avait That was Hall's place. Réponse ça, ça se passait à l'endroit euh, surveillé par Hall. knows about that le too. Aussi. Question. Question. Do you know where Hall was? Response. Parti. Réponse. When we fled, Quand we got fuite, separated. On séparés. Paul fled Or, to Omlean, and I did not go. Moi, pas suivi. Question. Question. You said you vous went to Omlean too. Vous étiez parti en direction Response. Réponse. I did not cross. Ah oui, mais à ce Then je the pas plan traversé. was to have everyone cross National Highway Number no. 4 to Omlean. The Vietnamese were firing. I ran across. Moi, je pas Then I ran hein. to the west to another province. Et autre province. Question. Question. Do you know where Ho is today? Response. Réponse. What I know, what I just learned, je is that Ho was shot and killed by Dutch group. Par le groupe Question. De Do you have anything to add for us? Chose à Response. Réponse. Everything I Tout have said is the truth. La I have said everything I know. Je vous ai tout dit ce que je sais. What I have said, I have seen with my own eyes or heard with my ears. I have spoken from my heart about my life inside S21. Question. Question. After you Après left S21, did you ever meet your younger brother again? Response. Réponse. When S21 failed, Après la chute I S21, never saw him. Non, je And I don't know where Et my brother is. When the government Quand negotiated with the Khmer Rouge, Khmer Rouge, people in Pailin returned to the village, village and they told me. Et, uh, ce dit. The hearing of the witness Fin statement was concluded at 2.42 in the afternoon of the same day. We hope that nous espérons When the ECCC requires it, you will continue, continue to cooperate. One copy of Une the copy written record was provided témoins. to the witness. After it was read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign. Il a posé sa signature. Witness, Niepro. Le président, après avoir écouté le graphique, après avoir écouté la lecture donnée par le greffier du procès verbal d'audition du témoin, M. Niepo, les co-procureurs ont-ils des observations à faire Souhaitent-ils nous faire part de leurs observations portant sur le procès verbal d'audition les coprocureurs, le coprocureur Regarding the testimony of Niepo as read by the graph here, the co-prosecutors do not have any observation to make. Bien, les coprocureurs n'ont pas d'observation à faire. The president, le président, the civil party council, je m'adresse do you have any observation to make regarding the content of the testimony as read by the graph here? Suite à la lecture de ce procès verbal donné par le greffier. Non, Your Honor. Maître Werner, non, Monsieur le Président. Yo. The President. The President. And the Defense Counsel. Je m'adresse à présent au Conseil de la Défense. Do you have any observations to make regarding the content of the testimony of this statement as read by the greffier? S'agissant de la lecture de ce procès verbal d'audition, de ce procès verbal d'audition. Lu par le greffier. The witness name is Nepo. 
Oui, merci, Monsieur le Mr. Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Au nom de la Défense, je souhaiterais en effet faire defense, une observation, like observation, mais de caractère peut-être un peu plus général. Which is perhaps of a more general nature. Quand la Chambre a décidé When the chamber de ne pas faire venir un certain nombre de témoins, not to call c'était une sage décision. Depuis, depuis cette décision, c'est-à-dire depuis le 23 juin 2009, c'est-à-dire depuis plus d'un mois, pardon, depuis le 29 juin 2009, c'est-à-dire depuis plus d'un mois, nous avons entendu beaucoup de témoins devant cette chambre. La question qu'il faut donc se poser aujourd'hui, étant donné la somme d'informations que les témoins sont venus donner à cette barre, étant donné la reconnaissance des faits de la, de la part de l'accusé, Qu'est-ce que apportent de nouveau les témoins dont nous sommes en train de donner lecture de leurs témoignages Qu'est-ce que ça apporte de nouveau au débat Et je voudrais respectueusement attirer l'attention de la Chambre sur l'article 85 de notre règlement qui dit ceci après consultation des autres juges le président peut exclure des débats tout ce qui tend à les prolonger inutilement sans contribuer à la manifestation de la vérité. On retrouve également la même chose à la règle 87 où il est indiqué que la Chambre peut déclarer inadmissible un élément de preuve s'il s'avère petit a dénué de pertinence ou ayant un caractère répétitif. Nous sommes donc dans la situation suivante. Un accusé qui reconnaît l'ensemble des faits qui lui sont reprochés. Des témoins qui sont venus à plusieurs reprises à cette barre confirmer ce que dit l'accusé. Il me semble, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs, que la procédure à ce stade des débats At this stage consisterait in the à demander au bureau des coprocureurs de bien vouloir spécifier à la Chambre quels sont les éléments pertinents et nouveaux qui figureraient dans les déclarations can be found in the qui restent encore à lire. That are yet to be read. Il y a dans la reconnaissance des faits de l'accusé quelques points peu nombreux qu'il a contestés. Pourrions-nous espérer que les procureurs Can we hope that se concentrent dorénavant sur ces points-là. Est-ce que les témoins dont ils souhaitent verser les déclarations au débat apportent des éléments pertinents sur les points que conteste l'accusé J'ai eu l'occasion de dire 
que si on était dans une procédure de common law, that if these were common avec law un accusé qui reconnaît sa responsabilité, ce procès serait terminé. This trial would be over. Mais l'ironie, c'est que si But également on était dans un procès totalement de civil law, if we were in il serait aussi terminé. J'ai vraiment l'impression, Monsieur well. le Président, Madame, Messieurs, Mr. President, que l'on se répète inutilement. I have the Et je reformule ma demande, les coprocureurs peuvent-ils justifier des éléments pertinents qui nécessiteraient que l'on s'impose encore toutes ces lectures Voilà quelles sont mes observations. Je vous remercie. The President, the International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor, for this opportunity. I think my learned friend uh, did not get the question from Mr. President uh, when, uh, Your Honor, the President requested his observations regarding this particular witness. If my learned friend were to object only for non-inclusion of this particular witness, then he should say so. This, Your Honours, is not an occasion for deciding whether a particular witness should be called live, as we call it, in this court or not. These matters were discussed in at least two trial management meetings. Now, the lists that Your Honours received were, of course, given by parties but ultimately, the list that Your Honor finally decided of the witnesses to be called in the court were Your Honor's lists. Your Honor's, in your wisdom, decided to call X number of witnesses to this court, and your wisdom decided not to call certain witnesses. Your Honor's also decided to not read the number of many witnesses in this court. So I think Your Honours have applied your minds, Your Honours have made a decision in respect of which witnesses to be called, the witnesses whose testimonies to be read in the court and the prosecution and the parties' observations to be taken. This matter has taken place and it is finished. At this stage, so late in the proceedings, is not the appropriate time to once again go back and open the entire witness list that your honours so very assiduously prepared in consultation with the parties. Now, clearly, there shall be and will be, as it is the case in such big trials, and my learned friend is an experienced counsel in such trials, there may be repetition. After all, it's about one accused. It's about one security center. But there are, as your owners have very well seen, and public has seen, and parties have seen, every witness has brought in some new element to this trial. And parties, with your honor's direction, have tried to focus on those particular elements in that witness's testimony. So I'd most respectfully submit my learned friend should clearly indicate whether he wants this witness's testimony to be admitted into evidence without calling this witness and to your honors do not to permit the defense or indeed any other party to reopen the entire witness list which with the consultation of the parties was very properly created by your honors. Uh, I would just conclude that this is not a time to debate whether these are civil law proceedings or common law proceedings. We are guided by the rules and statute of this court and your honors in application of those rules and statutes have called these witnesses. So we should not get into these endless debates uh, of whether it's a civil law proceeding or a common law proceeding. Uh, ultimately, it's your honor's decision on the basis of rules of this court. Uh, I thank you. Nous devons nous en remettre à la décision de la Chambre pour trancher. The President, uh, Mr. Francois Roux, you take the floor. Je vous en prie. 
Alors, Monsieur le Président, pour aller de l'avant, comme suggère le bureau du coprocureur, la défense demande l'application de l'article 85 du règlement intérieur et la défense vous demande, Monsieur le Président, de vous concerter avec les autres juges et d'exclure des débats la déclaration qui vient d'être lue ainsi que toutes les déclarations suivantes qu'il était prévu de lire, car la défense estime que ces déclarations tendent à prolonger inutilement les débats sans contribuer à la manifestation de la vérité. Voilà très clairement quelle est la demande de la défense en rappelant au moment où la Chambre a pris sa décision, le 29 juin, elle n'avait pas encore entendu oralement tous les témoins qui ont comparu. Nous nous trouvons donc aujourd'hui dans une situation différente de celle du 29 juin et la Chambre est aujourd'hui beaucoup plus informée de ce qu'elle était le 29 juin. Nous demandons l'exclusion de tous ces documents au visa de l'article 85 du règlement intérieur et également au visa de l'article 87 dans la mesure où ces documents sont dénués de pertinence ou ont un caractère répétitif. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. The President, uh, the co-prosecutor, you take the floor. Honest, I shall not respond to what my learned friend said, otherwise it will become endless. But just a suggestion for your Honor's consideration. Uh, may I bring to your attention Rule 87.3, and that may address uh, the time issue that my learned friend has raised. Rule 87.3 permits your owners to take into evidence any matter that has been either summarized or read into evidence. It may be possible, subject to your owners' leave, to request your graphiers just to read a summary of any statement and not read it in totality. Uh, that may take care of the requirements that it's been brought to the attention of the public because it's, after all, a public trial, but it shall also ensure an expeditious conduct of this trial. But that's only a submission. I shall leave it to your honors. Uh, thank you very much. In this sense, we could try to read a summary of this document. That's what I wanted to propose. Suzinski. The President, uh, President Madame, uh, sorry, Lawyer Suzinski, you take this, the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> Um, I would like to object uh, the motion of the defense or application of the defense. And so far, the uh, witness statements are concerned uh, where we objected to the removal from the witness list. And, um, the chamber um, announced in public, I would say, after one of the uh, trial management um, meetings, it would be by the end of June, announced um, which witnesses um, we wanted to be heard in court and at least which witnesses we want to get out, read, out, read out their statements, and um, I don't want to repeat them, or uh, if so, uh, then I need five minutes to recollect these um, witness names and their statements, but I refer to what the chamber, I remember Judge Cartwright, uh, told the public uh, concerning these witnesses. And I also um, 
emphasized which parts of the testimony are of relevance and are unique and therefore uh, these witnesses should be heard or at least the statements should be read out. Thank you. Les procès verbaux d'audition de témoins devraient être en conséquence, okay, no, euh, en conséquence lu. Le président, le président. Uh, Mr. Frank Swarou, you Maître take Roux. the floor. Je vous Please be reminded that this would be the last opportunity to respond to this matter. Il s'agira de occasion qui vous sera offerte de euh, répondre à vos contradicteurs. Oui, merci, Mr. Monsieur le Thank Président, you, Mr. President. et merci à mon Thank collègue you. du bureau du coprocureur pour For sa proposition constructive, résumée, oui, pourquoi pas, yes, why not, euh, et pour éviter in order to avoid effectivement un caractère répétitif, est-ce qu'on peut inviter can les procureurs maybe ask à nous indiquer the quel est l'élément pertinent which is the relevant dans les déclarations in the statements qui apporte quelque chose de nouveau au débat new to Donc, the Un résumé, oui, a summary, yes. et un résumé des éléments But pertinents qui apportent quelque chose de nouveau au débat pour que l'on ne tombe pas so sous le coup du caractère répétitif prévu aux articles 85 et 85. Voilà la proposition que je peux faire en suivant This la proposition constructive du bureau du co-procureur. Merci, M. le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, uh, we thank you very much uh, for all the observations made uh, by the parties to the proceeding. We note that uh, there are all good purposes to ascertain the truth and that we would like uh, to the more expeditious proceedings and uh, all the remarks are well noted uh, and the chamber will discuss and find way to deal with uh, the witnesses statement those who we only want to have their statements read Beaucoup out in the chamber, especially those whose uh, statements were uh, made before the co-investigators. And we appreciate your comments. We would like now to give the opportunity to the accused to make his observation in relation to the statement as read out already, the statement of witness. You take the floor. The accused, Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, I do know Comrade Nyeb Ho, alias Van, who worked Ho, at S21 all together with me. Uh, qui a à S21 avec moi. I would like to now tell the court about the characteristics of Comrade Van and dire quelques mots concernant Ho. They were not Wang. the same. Et Ho. The statement, however, will serve as the mirror to reflect uh, the La situations of the detainees and how detainees were treated at S21. And that is all I um, would like to tell the court. Thank Et you. C'est sans doute cela l'intérêt de la déposition. Voilà tout ce que j'avais à dire. Merci. The President, uh, Senate, it is convenient time to take an adjournment. Uh, we will take the adjournment now and resume at uh, 3 o'clock.
Somme, tu as une grande chose. Veuillez vous lever.